all about sand. This topic alone is vast and complicated. However, I will do my best to simplify it. Remember, there are over 10,000 different sand names that are used in the USA alone. It is very important to understand the qualities and specifications of a sand and not just go with a sand name. Sand is a key ingredient for obtaining a high performance arena surface. However, not every kind of sand is suitable for all riding arenas. Choosing the wrong sand can create problems and be very expensive to replace. This is where our team struggles the most to help customers whom have bought their sand first, then call us to order their product. In most cases, we cannot help people when they have purchased the wrong sand. Pending traffic, discipline, grooming, climate, and the water situation, your sand and additive will need to be formulated and engineered, hence sand being the most important part of this equation. Sand definition. Sand is a general term for broken down granules of rock. It only pertains to size. It, sand can have many different minerals or even organic matters. How they define sand is by its size only. So you can see here we have gravel, sand, and then little, little bitty silt. And at this point, the clay particles not even visible on this scale. Again, remember there's over 10,000 different sand names used in the US alone. Here's another picture. Here's what gravel might look like in its sizes. Coarse sand, medium sand, fine sand, and super fine sand, uh, or, or super fine, which would be constituted as silt or clay. Sand gradations are measured through a set of mesh sieves. The variation in percentages of different particle sizes is called a gradation. A sample of sand is placed atop a mesh with a variety of size openings. When the mesh is shaken, smaller pieces pass through the mesh, while the larger pieces are retained on the mesh. This technique is how a gradation report is achieved. The first thing we like to look for that I think is the most important, and it will vary from different builders to builders, but are the sand size and gradation or grading we find to be the most important when choosing a sand. A well-graded sand, medium range of large to small particles will help keep footing firm, but not compacted. So it's not necessarily large, but just different sizes. So you can see those particles fit into the voids. Uniformly graded or round particles with little to no gradation will become very unstable. There's nothing in there to keep the little ball bearings from rolling around. Gap graded is when you have large particles and very small particles. And what happens here, the finer material will always settle pushing the larger particles up. And sometimes if the particles are too fine, they'll settle and make a false base while the top of the surface will remain loose. Gradation reports. Here's an example of a gradation report. Different disciplines will require different gradations. Different types of footing additives will require specific gradations. Particle size and grading will help us to determine if the sand is suitable for the intended additive and the in end use. Professional aggregate producers will have reports on their products. We have specific recipes for our footing products. By using these reports, we can duplicate good footing in all areas of the country. By choosing a pit that maintains reports, you are assured of getting the correct stand. Reports will verify what the gradation is. And if it's a reputable company, it will be within 5% of that report. Building engineers and architects that, that build dams, roads, foundations, mines, they have to have specific gradations to prevent failure. Your arena also needs specific materials to prevent failure. Mineralogy. This is the second most important piece. There are roughly 3,800 main minerals in the world. 
and approximately 30 to 50 new minerals each year. Fluorite, gypsum, magnetite, copper, silica, quartz, mica, and pyrite are just a few of the many names. We recommend silica sand when at all possible, which is made from quartz because of its hardness. If you look at a diamond, it's a 10. Your quartz and silica is going to fall between a 6 and a 7. By using a hard particle sand, horse hooves, climate, and maintenance will not break the particles down as quickly, therefore preserving the gradation that was specified for your arena. Silica sand is composed of almost pure quartz grains. Quartz or silicon dioxide is one of the most common minerals found in the Earth's surface. Almost all sand has a presence of silica. In pure silica, the grains are usually round to subangular because all of the other soft minerals have eroded off. Silica sand is extremely resistant to weathering and crushing. Silica sand will have a hardness of six to seven. Clay particles are sometimes microscopic or pretty much all the time microscopic. <laughs> they can hold a lot of water and become soft and slippery when wet. When dry, clay becomes very hard. Think of pottery. If you've ever done a spinning wheel and played with pottery, that's pure clay. Clay can form rock-like particles in the surface. Early footing designs contained large amounts of clay because of their ability to hold water and keep substance in the sand. It did hold some of the sands together. However, they become, however, they can become very dusty when not watered. Western disciplines still rely heavily on clay mixes, as well as baseball diamonds and other uh, athletic menus. The new engineered surfaces for jumping and dressage do not use clay because the fine particles will clog the elaborate drainage systems. Particle shape is very important. We've placed it as third because if the gradation's good, we can uh, override some of the angular particles with the synthetic additives but round particles will create voids. They do offer cushioning and enhanced drainage. However, they are typically very unstable. There's too many voids, so they tend to roll around. Round particles are created by rolling and tumbling of water, for example, rivers and oceans. Subangular particles have the sharp edges worn off. They will nest while still allowing for some movement. This is an erosional sand from wind and rain. Angular particles have sharp edges and fit together tightly. Angular particles will compact and become hard. Most angular particles are man-made from crushing rocks. Particle shapes an important role in the final surface. 